I don't know the thing, but it's like, you have a child, you're not married to that mom, you have another girlfriend that's, do you know what I'm saying? And he acts like his is so perfect, and like, just looking at him, you know, he, he does judgments just by looking at our videos, and just by looking at his videos, not his physical appearance, just like looking at his videos and looking at him, and the way, it's like, he looks tired, he looks worn out, like, dang it, Trisha, I was trying to sit down and read my book about psychology so I can get some sleep and get rid of these freaking bags under my eyes, but you had to go and make this video. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So today's video is brought to you by my book, Rewire Your Anger. So a lot of you ask me, dang Chris, how do you keep your cool all the time? I'd be losing my stuff. Well, all of that is outlined in this beautiful book that is out now, Rewire Your Anger. So go ahead and get yourself a copy. It'll be linked down in the description as well as in the pinned comments. So anyways, <laughs> yeah, I was just like doing some research on my computer and I was about to sit down and start reading with Tristan and all of a sudden my Instagram, my Twitter, my YouTube comments are blowing up. They're like, oh boy, Trisha is mad at you. She just talked about, I'm like, what? But anyways, anyways, I appreciate all of you leaving comments and you know, and things like that and sticking up for me, but don't worry, boo, I got this. I got this. It's all good. Trisha, I love you. But anyways, let's talk about this. So those of you who know me, uh, I have worked in mental health for the last three and a half years and I have a lot of personal experience and no, I'm not a licensed therapist or anything like that, but as Trisha could tell you, I am a recovering drug addict. This is coming from a drug addict, once an addict, always an addict, that is it. But something I always tell my clients is, if I don't piss you off, then I'm not doing my job very well. You know what I mean? Like part of my job, unfortunately, but fortunately, is telling people things that they don't wanna hear, right? I've had so many people in treatment cuss me out to call me back a month later and say, hey, I'm sorry, you were right. We do put our lives out there, but to diagnose someone, he puts in the description, like, Trisha has bi borderline personality disorder. I don't. It's it's messed up. It is, it's gross. It's honestly so disgusting. Uh. But I do want to say this. Trisha, there was absolutely something that you were wrong about in your video, which is that I never, ever, ever speculate about a person's diagnosis. Yo, yo, yo. If, if you're in a good mood, you're going to love it. <laughs> Isn't that the fun part though about dating someone with like borderline personality? Like you don't know what mood they're gonna be in. Are they gonna be happy? Are they gonna be mad? You're always in a good mood unless I piss you off. <laughs> <laughs> but there was something that you were right about, which is this clip right here. This is coming from a drug addict, once an addict, always an addict, that is it. Yes, that is absolutely true. Once a drug addict, always a drug addict. When we're talking about the disease of addiction. So addiction has been classified as a disease and a good way to think about it is like an allergy, all right? So some people have an adverse reaction to something like peanuts or shellfish. Well, people like me and other drug addicts, we have an adverse reaction to drugs and alcohol. What happens is, and neuroscience has proved this, you can go Google it or look it up on the National Institute of Health. Basically what happens is we get an excess flood of dopamine. So part of the brain, another responsibility of the prefrontal cortex up here, is kind of like a dam. It's supposed to shut off the flood of dopamine, right? Basically the, the limbic system that shoots off dopamine, that's kind of like the gas uh, or the engine of a car. And the prefrontal cortex is like the brake system, right? So once the dopamine shoots out, after you have a shot, or you smoke a little something or or take a little something right the prefrontal cortex is like yo baby it's about time to stop well drug addicts and alcoholics we get an excess flood of dopamine and it doesn't shut off so yes once a drug addict always a drug addict that is unfortunately why relapse rates are so high because people often think that since they've experienced a certain length of sobriety they can go back to drugs or alcohol and now they're going to be fine but unfortunately there is no known cure to turn a drug addict or alcoholic into a normal 
uh, user or drinker, right? This is why abstinence is often the only answer for drug addicts and alcoholics. But while there isn't a solution for that part of the brain, there is a part that does heal, which is in the prefrontal cortex, which is why our personalities change. That's why we turn into di different people. So I'm gonna give Trisha the benefit of the doubt and think that she's speaking about the science and not my personality, because as a result of me being clean and strengthening this baby up here, the prefrontal cortex, I have better impulse control, emotional regulation, and self-awareness. And that's why I live a beautiful life today in my two bedroom apartment. But anyways, let's switch gears real quick. So all of my loyal rewired soldiers out here, you know exactly why I make these videos. I make these videos to give you something that you're already watching to try to teach you about mental health, right? So what I wanna do is actually pull some comments from a video I made based on one of the vlogs which showed this disturbing clip. Wait, why did you almost call the police? I'm not gonna say. She can say if she wants. I'm not gonna throw her under the bus. I wasn't, literally didn't do anything. I mean, what she did, like, wasn't that bad. I was blocking the door. <laughs> <laughs> For an hour and a half. I sat there. He went into that bedroom and I just sat there. But then- She sat right here. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. She sat here like a prison guard and I was like Trisha get out of the way I'm going home I want to go home I need some time to myself she's like no no holy is like, this true yeah <laughs> she's like, you're not leaving she I go I'm calling 911 she goes good do it but then I thought you had priors so I wasn't gonna do that to oh you oh my god <laughs> how long were you there for an hour and then I went to sleep for like 45 minutes and I was like okay she'll probably went to sleep and I came back and she was just still sitting by the door Trisha you sat in front of the door so you, your boyfriend couldn't leave that's true love. no I just sat in front of my own door and I don't think <laughs> there was anything wrong with that <laughs> Uh, she's got a point. Yeah, it is her house. house. <laughs> <laughs> so then, at like 2 in the morning, I woke up, and I was like, okay, this is it. You gotta make your break now. But I had my laptop, my camera here, and I was like, I gotta get that laptop. I was lying in bed, and then I was like, and I need like a little cream. And she was like, babe, babe, <laughs> I don't hate. leave. Holy sh so in that video, I asked you guys, I was like, can you relate to this? Or have you waited around for somebody to change and they never changed? And here's some of the comments that I got. Seven years wasted until I finally got a restraining order against him. People, you can't fix others. That's not how it works. Please leave ASAP. Wasted a year, never again. Their relationship hurts to watch. I wasn't laughing at Trisha or Jason. I'm concerned just like many others. This dude is incredibly knowledgeable, so much respect for you, Chris. You're doing a wonderful thing for the community. Thank you, seriously. I love having access to this because watching you in conjunction with therapy has helped me so much. Why, thank you. You're so right. The people you surround yourself with are 110% either going to make you better or worse. I recently cut out a group of toxic friends from my life, and since then I've been clean from any hard drugs for a year come this spring. Congratulations, that's awesome. I legit spent almost four and a half years with someone who couldn't fix their own problems and was dragging me down with them. I was working two full-time jobs and wasn't eating or sleeping. Finally, I had enough and kicked him out. After that, I kind of did a spiral into drugs and alcohol, and that turned into a self-recovery in its own. Now I'm in a happy relationship of five years with an amazing guy. He stuck with me through cancer treatment, and I wouldn't trade him for the world. Isn't that an awesome story? I dig it. I just broke up with my boyfriend of two years. We have just been consistently fighting for a good majority of this year. I feel terrible just giving up, but it's not healthy for either of us, and it hasn't been. It sucks to break up with someone you love so much, but you do it because they and you deserve better Better than what you're allowing because of comfort. There have been times where I have been the Trisha in the relationship. Looking back, you don't realize how toxic you are until you exit the relationship or get a different perspective. I really hope both she and Jason find a counselor that can help them control toxic behaviors. Exactly, exactly. So Trisha, if you're watching this, which I think you will, just remember, I do not make tri videos for you. I make videos for people who are familiar with your content and might be able to learn something from them. So I know you take it a little bit personal, but these videos ain't about you, boo-boo. So again, what I'm doing with my channel is something different, and I understand some people might not like it. And it's interesting because I get hit at from a different angle than you know the drama channels, because I am taking a different angle 
on this stuff. But this is content that is already out there. And again, I do my best to never speculate. And if I do, I try to put disclaimers, even though Trisha doesn't really like the disclaimers I put in there, but I do put disclaimers. I just want to show you guys what you're already watching and then if you can relate to it. Because so many of us, so, so many of us passively watch TV, YouTube, movies, other people, whatever it is, and we don't look at how it can relate to our lives. But we can take these things that we're already consuming and learn how to better ourselves or maybe even help other people around us. You know what I mean? But anyways, anyways, again, no hate, nothing but love. I'm gonna be in Los Angeles in a couple weeks. Trisha, if you see this, let's sit down. Let's have a little mukbang together. Chat about some stuff, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. This is actually my fourth video today, damn. But anyways, a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. If you would like to get some exclusive perks, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.